This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Overland Ember uh, travel trailer. The uh, this is just a floor, or this is a, a how-to video basically. It's not a floor plan video, so uh, I'm just going to show you some features and how they work. So here on the door side towards the rear, we have first of all you see there's a crank down scissor type stabilizers it comes with a crank you have a, a quick connection for the gas system that's for the the uh, the outside cooktop or griddle whichever they have in this so I'll show you that what plugs into there that's of course for your dump hose and this is our these are built-in wheel chocks so you have to pull this out um, you get a bar that hooks right in there and you to get some leverage on it and you can you can put it up against the wheel so you can keep it from rolling away in, when it's in steep positions or on steep, steep land. Okay, so you have a refrigerator obviously, uh, receptacle and some light and then you have your, let me see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, let's see if I can get it with one hand, yes, and then you have your griddle. So it has a griddle. This is the quick connect line. So this, this connects to that fitting under the trailer I just showed you, the, the quick connect LP fitting. So that's how you get LP to that. Uh, power here, this is a sprayer. Quick connect here for a sprayer. You get a sprayer with it, okay. Um, let's see here. Up front, this is a cover for the, let me see right here, yeah, you get a, you get that, you get a, the crank, of course, this is the piece I just told you about to, you can put on that, uh, on the wheel chalk and use this for leverage. Okay, you have two LP tanks in here, deep cycle marine battery in the other side. You have this uh, unusual single point uh, tongue jack here, and that's operated right here. Just extend and retract, that's all. So very simple. Now this trailer um, has, a, has a power inverter on it, right? Um, the power, in, uh, and also the battery's in here, by the way. It, brand new uh, deep cycle marine battery. Now the power, uh, let's, let's see it this way. This is the kill switch for your battery right here, so you can shut the battery off just by turning that switch. This here is the power inverter. So this converts power and inverts power. What the inverter does is it takes 12 volt DC from the battery and then it inverts it to 110 AC and sends it to the receptacle. So you can run a small appliance if you need to. If you don't have any AC power, you're out in the middle of nowhere, you can still run a, a small appliance. So you turn it on this way. You can't hear it on the, on the video, I'm sure, but it, you can hear it crank up there. Now you're only going to be inverting power when you need to. You don't run it all the time. So keep that in mind. To shut it off, you have to hold it for a few seconds. And then it'll shut down. Okay? So that's the power inverter. It goes from 12 volt DC to 110 AC. Uh, while we're standing here, you have your, your water here. This is to bypass your water heater. This is winterized right now. You have your dump tank uh, dump valves right here. Um, this is to hook up just a if you wanted to purchase a Go Power um, kit that, that's basically a, a solar panel kit that will charge the battery, that's all that's for. Your sprayer goes into there, the same sprayer. Uh, you, you can operate your water pump from out here. And then you have these, these um, different configurations here. Uh, you can see there's, you have the two valves, the green and the blue valve. And then you can sanitize by putting them in this position. If you're running city water, which is the most common, you can see that's what it's set for right now, city water. Um, if you want to fill the fresh water tank, let's say you're, you're camping someplace and, and there's no city water, you're kind of boondocking, whatever, you can put it in this position and fill the fresh water tank. And then you can put it in this position here, dry camp position, and use the, the onboard pump to pump the water and you'd be basically you'd have all the plumbing will work as though you have city water but you'd be pumping out of the tank 
So you have all those features. Um, these are just uh, ca cable and satellite through. Um, uh, let's see what we have here. This is your city water hookup right here. Um, this is your black tank flush right here. You got a sticker here. Like the sticker says, always, always, your black tank valve always has to be open when you hook the, the hose of the dump station on here and turn it on. You always have your valve open. That's important. So uh, that's the black tank flush. Your uh, vent for your furnace. This is a vent for the range hood. You can grab a hold of that baffle with your thumb and flick it open so the baffle flaps freely. If you're venting to the outside, you want the baffle flapping freely. Otherwise, you can just snap it shut if you're traveling or in storage. You got a 30 amp, 30 foot power cord. Okay. You have a pre wire for a Furion backup camera kit if you want to add that. You have a hookup for a telescoping ladder by Lippert. Okay. Well, the one we're looking up, keep in mind the manufacturer states every, every 60 to 90 days you should inspect the roof, make sure there's no cracking or separation at any of the sealant, make sure there's no damage to any of the roofing material or roofing attachments by low branches or road debris, anything like that. You don't know what's happening up there unless you look, so you're just protecting your investment. And then you have a door here, a bike door, storage door, emergency door, whatever, it's actually all three. Um, okay, power awning with LED. <clears throat> this is your control panel here. Some lights going in here. Okay, so you have your power awning, extend to retract. Never leave the awning out unattended if you're not going to be at the campsite, roll it in. You have your water pump here. On and off, water pumps are used to pump water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water. It's also used to winterize the trailer. Uh, a lot more lighting. And all your levels here, okay. That's a dimmer there. This is your um, Truma furnace slash water heater combo. Right now we're running on, on uh, heat and uh, you can see the flame burning. Um, so right now that's what we're doing. You can switch it to heat water. Um, we're winterized right now, so we can't, we can't run the water heater, but um, it has all those functions. You're gonna have to read the booklet to, to learn more about it because it's, uh, um, it's not complicated. After you run through it, it's, e it's easy, but the first time you look at it, it's not super intuitive. But you can see the, the, the trailer RV, whoops, I just had it. And the flame, so that's telling us the furnace that we're running the furnace for that, for the RV. Okay. All righty. Um, this uh, obviously is a, a table that comes off. This couch jackknifes flat, and there's a Murphy bed that folds over it. We'll show you how that works when you pick up. Okay. It's very simple. Your TV is also a FM radio. It also has Bluetooth, so it's a it's uh it uh, does has a lot of different functions um your keys are hanging here you, you light your range top with a with a drill lighter of course it's got two burners this is just an adapter for your shore coat cord you can adapt it from a 30 amp down to a 20 and plug it in at home if you need to your air conditioner has um the controls right on it this is your solar panel controller. So let's let's do it this way. I mentioned to you that um, that you have a, an inverter, a power inverter. I showed you that outside. Inversion is going from AC or from DC to AC power. This is the converter here. This does the opposite. When you're plugged into shore power, this goes from AC to DC power. So you have 110 AC on this side here right and they're all labeled these are circuit breakers like you see at home then the power is converted to 12 volt DC over here you got 12 volt fuses and breakers and they're all labeled so that's 12 volt and it's also tends your battery so it'll send so much energy your battery uh, needs up front the one up on the tongue and uh, it'll keep it charged as long as you're plugged in so this converts it goes from from AC to DC the inverter goes from DC to AC okay um, so this is a, a distribution panel, a, a converter from 
uh, AC to DC and a battery charger. Uh, so keep that in mind. So when you're when you're plugged in, this charges the battery. When you're pulling down the road, your tow vehicle's alternator charges the battery. And then the solar panel charges the battery um, intermittently, as it can, depending on the conditions outside. So this is very simple. You only have to worry about button B. Okay, so let me just bring it around here. Okay, so right now it's telling us there's 13.7 volts DC in the system, which is perfect. So you have 13.7 volts. You hit button B again. And right now we're gaining 1.3 amps from the sun. You see the picture of the sun and the arrow pointing towards the solar panel. So right now it's converting that sunlight, available sunlight, to 1.3 amps and storing it in the battery. Um, as the day gets brighter and the sun comes up, depending on the conditions, it'll go up 5 amps, 6 amps, 7 amps, 7 point, you know, whatever. But right now we're just getting 1.3 because of the time of day, basically, and the conditions outside. It's a bit overcast. Um, and then if you hit it again, you're tell, it's telling you you're 100% charged and this is amp hours this is how many sto hours are stored in here so you get uh, those amp hours now you know, there's four screens that you just saw the first two are the most useful this one here and then the one that tells you the amps um, there's some other functions here too but you can read about those but these, this is mainly it there's also an app for this if you want to use it there's an app for just about everything um, Let's see, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you about it. I thought, oh yes, if it flashes FUL and it flashes on and off and it won't, the buttons won't respond, it's not broke. It's telling you that the batteries are full. It means there's no more room for storage, so it shut the solar panel down till the amperage in the battery drops. Once it drops, the screens will go right back to normal. So if it's flashing like that, it's just telling you there's no room for storage in the battery at that point. Okay? All right. Uh, 12 volt DC refrigerator. Okay. Bathroom um, works like a, works like um, uh, the toilet and the and the sink work like all travel trailers. There's a flush pedal. I'm going to have to go on an angle here. The flush pedal for the toilet. The idea is you're going to you're going to uh, when you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water, you'll come over here, you'll put a dose of chemical right in the bowl. Then you'll step on the pedal and hold it down long enough to put at least a gallon of water along with the chemical into the tank below. Then it's ready to be used. Um, if you don't do that, it'll, it's considered using it dry. And if you use it dry, it'll get clogged up, number one. And number two, it'll smell super bad. So you always want chemical and water in it, okay? Dose of chemical and at least a gallon of water. Now this is an eco device here. This is the shower miser. So you can see you got the two positions here. Um, what this is is a water recirculator. So normally when you're heating up hot water for the shower, it just comes out cold, goes down the drain till it heats up, right? So you're wasting perfectly good fresh water, and you're also wasting storage in your in your gray tank, right? Well with this, you uh you put it in the, in the position, then you, you turn on the hot water, and it circulates the water around in a loop. Nothing comes out the shower head. It goes from here to the water heater to the water pump around and around and around. When it heats up, this plastic piece here will turn a beige color. You'll see it plain as day change color. Then you know the water's heated up, and then you put it in the regular position. So it's a way to heat up your hot water without wasting any. So that's called a shower miser, okay? Uh, all these these components I'm telling you about, we have you have a packet with literature in it. You also have um, um, you also you also can go to manufacturers' product videos too if you want. You can learn a lot from those too if you if you want to learn more about them. I mean, so there's there's plenty of ways to learn if you're interested in learning more about them. Now this is a three-speed fan, so three speeds. It's got a vent that goes up and down. It's got a cover over it, so. You can keep it open in the rain, that sort of thing. Okay? Alrighty. Let's see what else we have here. This is a jackknife here, so this jackknife's flat. Okay? Um, let me look around here. That's the, this is the vent hood I told you about, the range hood. If you're going to run the fan, you want to open that baffle on the outside so it flaps freely. You also have a light here. So. That that's basically covers it. I think that gives us the whole picture. The rest is pretty self-evident. Now the thing is, like I said, you have a converter here, 
uh, the button on the outside in the off door side com front compartment that's for the inverter that inverts some of the receptacles to AC power from DC power and then you have the solar panel which is is, is gleaning uh, electricity from the sunlight as much as it can depending on the conditions so it's a it's a pretty complete system when it comes to that okay okay so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit please remember uh, what I said about inspecting the roof that should be part of your regular maintenance it's very important obviously and uh, odds are you won't have to do anything to the roof but you don't know unless you look because you can't see what's happening up there all right and right now we're winterized so there's antifreeze in the system okay thank you very much